I recently started running crab beacons in my Aeon, and I gotta say, let me tell you, they are actually not bad at all. They are actually, in fact, quite good. Like, really good. Why that is the case, I will tell you in this video, and also show you why my original opinion of them being actually quite bad and extremely dangerous might have been wrong all along. But playing EVE alone sucks. So if you want to take part in an awesome community, fly fun chips, make some dangisk and have genuinely a good time with constantly people around you to hang out with. So come and join Suspect today and fight under the banner of our great supreme leader, me. So come and join our disco today. Anyway, on with the video. Hey guys, it's me, I for one. So I recently switched the lines from Shadow Ultimatum to the initiative. In it, it's actually quite a good place for capital usage. That is one of the things that I realized quite soon after joining them. And I gotta be honest, I'm genuinely enjoying it, and so are all the capital pilots in my core, because finally they can take out the big toys and actually do something with them. Because, let's face it, uh, there wasn't gonna be a lot of dread brawls when we were in Shadow Ultimate, it was kinda not gonna happen, was it? Although they did happen when we were in Blob, but that's a different story. So I tried running crap beacons, even though before I was heavily against them, I used to believe they are incredibly dangerous. And that their loot payout is compared to the risk really low, but with capitals now also being significantly cheaper than they have been when scarcity started and the whole capital build cost rework, it's actually a lot more feasible than it was before. So first, how to actually run them? I run them using an Aeon, and it's actually a full tank Aeon, and I'm running them on alts, and I'm not just saying this so I don't get hot dropped, although I did get hot dropped a very long time ago, and I actually got hot dropped by a 90-man Black Ops fleet, that would have hurt a lot, but... Yeah, I'm not just saying it so I don't get hot drop, trust me. Isk-wise, crab beacons are quite good. They are not bad at all, but you need an alliance that got your back. Because that is the biggest risk. You losing the capital. The signs themselves are not very hard. You can run them in a dreadnought, super carrier for enough tracking. All of that is fine, except carriers. Carriers kinda die very quickly to them. But dreadnoughts can run them just fine. So, that is not the issue. The issue is if people show up with 50, 16 bombers and simply kill you. That is a very real risk, especially because when you use crap beacons, they actually show up on the map. But the loot from the crap beacons is not solely from the bounties. The loot from the crap beacons actually comes from the crap beacon itself, which you have to open once the crap site is finished, and drops you random loot. But there's an officer spawn as well that can drop up to 30 billion or more in loot, but I haven't gotten it yet. Anyway, so my current setup is a Manx tank Aeon with implants. So if I get tackled, so if I do get tackled, I will not die immediately. Bounty wise, I got over three beacons, an average per beacon of 170 to 220 million, and loot wise, it was an additional 120 to 170 million on average. Each side taking around 25 minutes, including anchoring. In total, I made about 680 million per hour, which is not bad, not amazing. It is all right. But you can only run three of them a day using one character, and it takes out of setup to begin with, taking you at least one Dreadnought to run it. But once you do have the necessary setup and aren't in an alliance that can actually save you, the ISK income generated by this activity is good enough that if you run three of them a day, you can easily plax all your accounts or just have an additional amount of money lying about. And if you only have two accounts and want to make some easy ISK, and already can fly capitals. That is a very nice option, as long as you do have an alliance that can reliably save you. And it also kind of requires you to know how to react if bad stuff does happen to you, if like a hundred people show up trying to unalive your ship. But for those kind of people who want to use their capitals and who might only have two accounts and don't want to get into stuff like high tier abyss or multi-boxing Ishtas a lot, yeah, it is quite a good activity and I would actually recommend it, absolutely. Does it have steep requirements? Sadly, yes. But is it an option for newer capital pilots to play around with their toys? Yes, yes it is. But when it comes to capital ship usage on those beacons, super carriers are also heavily preferred, simply due to the fact if you do get tackled, a fax can land on you and actually try to save you, while dreadnoughts are fully self-reliant, which is great, but also can be a big issue if you have your if you have an your capacitor is empty moment. Also, you can technically simply warp out of dangerous group show up in a supercarrier. That is kind of nice as well. However, at roughly 40 billion for a fitted supercarrier, compared to 6 to 7 billion for a fitted dreadnought, dreadnoughts are a more economic choice by far. 
But even then, supercars, as long as they do have a proper tank fitted, aren't massively fast at running those sides and dreadnoughts. And if you want your supercarrier to not have to warp out at the slightest sign of trouble, you kinda do need tank, and also a lot of trust into your current alliance. Crab beacons, however, are actually quite a nice way to simply chill out, do three of them a day, and you just have your 1 billion isk mate in about an hour or maybe one and a half hours. It's just a very chill way to chill out with your capital ship and do something while using your big toy, and I think that is the biggest feature of those crab beacons. The fact that you can simply go ahead and do something while not having to have a massive setup or worry about too many things. But I've by now run quite a few crab beacons. I think I ran in total 50, 60 so far. And I'm curious, what is your opinion on crab beacons? Did you run them? Do you want to run them? Just tell me in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe and maybe even check out my Patreon. See you next time.